Hi, I'm Lee Buckner, your economics instructor. And in this video, I'm gonna give a brief overview about how banks operate and how banks can create money within our economy. So first, banks. When I use the word bank, what I mean is a traditional bank, what's called a savings and loans institution. Simple uh, setup. The way a bank or savings and loan institution operates is they encourage people to deposit money with the bank to create savings accounts, create checking accounts, those sorts of things. And the way they encourage people to make deposits is to offer them security for their money, right? It's a safe of being a vault uh, and we can give it back to you whenever you ask for it. Uh, and then also to offer them interest payments on those deposits. For example, if you make a deposit to your savings account, say you put $1,000 in your savings account, we'll pay you one or 2% interest over the year on that deposit. It's a way to encourage people to make deposits. All of that costs banks money, right? So for banks to have deposits, I mean they have costs. So the reason that banks encourage people to make these deposits is banks wanna then turn and use that money to make loans to other people. So uh, say we have uh, 100 people and they all deposit $500 in a checking account in our bank. Well, that's gonna cost our bank money and paying them interest and also cost them money to operate the, the bank and to secure the vault and all those things. Those are expenses for the bank. But what the bank wants to do when they get those deposits and then loan to somebody else who wants to buy something, like let's say a car. So somebody else comes into their bank and wants to borrow $30,000 to borrow a car. Well now, the bank has funds available to make that loan. Now, say the bank is charging uh, for that loan, 5% interest. If the bank is charging 5% interest to the people who borrow the money and they pay out 1% or 2% interest to the people who make the deposits, that difference in the interest rates between loans and deposits is where banks make revenue and ultimately profit. So banks certainly not going to be uh, uh, any kind of a business that, that's not trying to make a profit, they are certainly for-profit op operations. So here's how banks make money. If you put money, cash currency, into a savings account, you still feel like you have money, right? It's just changing its form. Instead of feeling like you have cash, now you just have credit in an account but you still feel like you have cash, right? If you take $500 cash and deposit in a savings account, you still feel like you have $500. Here's where the banks make money. If they then take that $500 and lend it to somebody else, they give currency to somebody else in the form of a loan, that person also feels like they have money. So the bank can take your $500 deposit and they lend it to someone else they've now created money. And what we'll discuss going through some of the remainder of this course is how uh, when banks create money, and sometimes how the government can encourage banks to create money, uh, as more money gets created, people feel like they have more to spend, because they do, and when they have more money to spend, they want to buy more stuff. That causes an increase in demand for products, uh, which ultimately leads to more products being produced, which is an increase in gross domestic product, which we talked about in the previous chapter.